Hey, cosplayers. Um, if, have you ever had the problem when you're working with EVA foam and you're trying to use contact cement? You just, it's hard to spread. You're trying to use the applicator and it's just making a mess everywhere. And you just get these nappy seams or it just too, goes on too thick. Well, you come to my place in this video, I'm gonna show you my tips for making contact cement easy. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get these quick tip clips, get notified of, of them whenever they come out. All right, if you've had this problem where you just can't seem to uh, spread on your contact cement without making a mess, go ahead and comment with contact cement in the comments below. That'll help us to know if we're not just the only ones and to know that we need to make some more videos on uh, applying contact cement and, and being able to use contact cement. So without further ado, let's go ahead and we're gonna jump in to these tips, all right? So uh, my idea that I had was like, okay, I get the big can, right? And I'm like, that's great, because it's a better buy, I can get more, um, compared to just like the little applicators. Maybe you've gotten those small ones, and you have a little brush that comes with it, and unless you're working on a wide surface, it's pretty hard to kind of get that to spread smoothly, evenly, it starts to get sticky, your brush starts to dry out and different things. Um, you get the can, you're like, well, how do I spread that? I open this can up, it smells, it stinks really bad in the whole room. Um, speaking of which, always make sure you're wearing a respirator, Whenever you're working with contact cement, just protect yourself. Uh, the organic vapors are not good. Uh, I'll include a link below to the, the type of respirator that I recommend and the cartridges that you need to get to protect yourself from contact cement. All right, so continuing on that, right? You get the can, better buy, you don't really have a way to easily apply it. And so what I've come up with, at first I thought, all right, we'll get a big bottle, pour that into it, have my whole contact cement in a big bottle. Uh, it just dries out too quick before you can use it all and you can see it just becomes a big mess in in the bottle here So the best option I've found You get these tiny little squeeze bottles You get uh, this size of the DAP weld wood contact cement uh, or barge if you prefer And uh, this is a uh, 16 fluid ounces uh, You can use it up. It doesn't You can get through it fast enough before it, the contact cement goes bad and it's just perfect to be able to pour into like a little squeeze bottle. I like the little squeeze bottles because it's about the amount you need to while you're working on a project so you use up a good amount of it before it um, dries out. Because these uh, bottles aren't perfectly you know, sealed airtight and stuff, it does start to release and dry out a little bit inside of here. But with these the small ones, you can use most of it before it's, it becomes a problem. Uh, I'll include a link to some squeeze bottles here below. So essentially all you do is you just get a little funnel, make a little funnel out of some two millimeter EVA foam if you want, uh, pop this lid open, pour it in there, uh, cap it off. And actually the ones I'm gonna link in the description uh, below uh, for the squeeze bottles, they actually come with a little funnel for you. So um, that'll be perfect. And then you can just take this and I'll show you how easy and smooth this can, can be applied, right? So I'm gonna work, put on my uh, respirator I might start to sound like a, a Vader or something like that, but for the rest of the video, hopefully you can hear me. So this becomes super handy now because you can take your uh, edge here. This is six millimeter, so it's a little bit thinner. This works even on two millimeter where it's super thin or even on four millimeter um, that are some thinner foams, right? So you just pop off your little cap. And because it has such a small application tip, you just do a tiny little bead across there. And there's, uh, I like to use this little silicone brush. You can use that to kind of spread it. Or if you don't have that, you can just break off a little piece of scrap foam and cut it to a triangle. And then that works really nice to just kind of spread that nice and thin. And that's the key with contact cement. You want to spread it nice and thin, a nice thin layer. You don't need it to go on thick. There you go, you spread it on nice and thin. That helps it dry faster. That thin coat helps it dry faster so you're not waiting forever for it to set up. But also too, it helps to get a better bond with the two thin layers of contact cement, right? So you'd apply a thin layer to the other piece. Once they're set up, you stick them together. So, especially for spreading on the uh, edge to edge like this and small surfaces, this is phenomenal. I'll show you one other thing. It's really handy too, even on a wide surface. 
you kind of do a crisscrossing motion like that. And you may need to get a bit like a larger piece of scrap foam, depending on the size of the piece you're scraping across. And you just take that and you kind of just drag it across nice and smooth. And there you go. So I'll put a link to this as well as the small bottles. And the trick is you get this kind so it doesn't run out before it, it goes bad. You get the small bottles so that you can use it up. You can always refill it. It's better to be constantly refilling it than to put it all into one thing and have it all go bad. So that's the trick for making contact cement easy. Thank you guys so much. If you like this video, please give it a like. <laughs> if you didn't, feel free to give it a dislike. <laughs> not a problem it tells me what you guys like and what you don't like um, and then also to make sure to subscribe so you get more of these if you guys found this helpful you know a friend that has the same problem please share the video with them and uh, with that cosplay on my friends thank you so much take care